Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.37 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the time constant V infinity and Vt for this differential equation. So I think the key is to solve this differential equation first. So let's rewrite that differential equation. So we will have uh, this one here. So for dv over dt and then plus v is equal to 10. Okay, so I want to use separation of variable. So I want all the v on the left hand side and all the t to the right hand side. So and to do that, let's do some algebra here. So we have for dv over dt that will equal to minus v plus 10. Okay. Now let's divide both sides by 4. So we will have dv over dt. And that will equal to minus 0 0.25. Minus 1 divided by 4 is minus 0 0.25. And then plus 10 divided by 4. That will be 2.5. Oh, I forgot the v. Okay, so we'll have v here. And then plus 2.5. Okay, we can swap the dt and all of this into this denominator. So I will have dv over minus 0.25v plus 2.5. And then on the right hand side, I only have dt. Okay. And this is good because we can integrate both sides here. Right? And on the right hand side, clearly we can see t plus some constant here. And then on the right hand side, I will have learn. And then minus 0 0.25. And then v plus, I think I will move it. Move it to the left like this. And then plus 2.5. Okay. And remember, because of the chain rule, we need to multiply this by uh, 4 divided by minus, I mean 1 divided by minus 0.25v. I mean 1 divided by this constant here, which is minus 4. Yeah, because of the chain rule okay now let's move this minus 4 to the right hand side or dividing both sides by minus 4 and we will get learn minus 0 0.25 v plus 2.5 okay and then on the right hand side i will have minus 0 0.25 t and then i want to define C2 as minus C1 divided by 4. So I will have C2 on that one. Okay, we can take the exponential of both sides. E and ln will cancel each other. So I will have minus 0 0.25v plus 2.5. And then on the right hand side, I will have E to the minus 0 0.25t plus c2 okay and i want to move this 2.5 to the right hand side so i'll have 0 0.25 v is equal to minus 2.5 and then plus and i can rewrite this as e to the c2 is a constant so let's rename that constant as a and then e to the minus 0 0.25 t. Okay, now let's divide both sides by minus 0 0.5. So we will have v is equal to, okay, what is that? Minus 2.5 divided by minus 0 0.25. 10, I think? Yeah, that will be 10. Okay, we will have 10 and then minus 
or I can define another constant here. Let's rename that as B. So I'll have B and B is A divided by minus 0 0.25. So I'll have E to the minus 0 0.25 theta. Okay, that's good. And because P is depends on T, I can rewrite it as PT here. And we are given that P0 is equal to 2. Okay, now let's do some math here. Because V0 equals to 2, on the left hand side, we will have 10 plus P. And then E to the 0. So we'll have E to the 0. And that will equal to 2. And that means that P. Uh, b multiplied by e to the 0 is 1, so we will have b here, and then 2 minus 10, that will be minus 8, okay? And then what can we do from here? So we will have pt is equal to 10 minus 8 e to the minus 0 0.25. Okay, this is the one that we can do for answering the question A, B, and C. Okay, the question A, what is the time constant? So, time constant is this one. This is 1 over time constant. So, 1 over time constant is equal to minus 0 0.25. So, therefore, we will have tau is 1 divided by minus 0 0.25. And so, that will be tau is equal to minus 4. The unit of the time constant is second. So, this is the first answer for this question. And then, what is the V infinity, the value of V? So, we can just plug infinity into that. So we will have V infinity and that will equal to 10 minus 8 e to the minus infinity. That will be E divided by E to the infinity or 1 divided to infinity. 1 divided to infinity is equal to 0. So I'll have 0 here. Okay. Oh, no, no, no e to the minus infinity. Yeah, it's correct. I think that 1 divided by infinity is 0. So we will have 10 minus 0. So therefore, V infinity is equal to 10. 10. 10 fold. Right. This one. And then if V0 is 2, find Vt. Vt, we already got it. So this is the answer for question C. Okay, I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.